Hey, welcome to Crypto Coach 365. It's day 75, I think. It's, I'm sorry, it's kind of getting hard to keep track of these days. So there have been so many of them and things just keep happening every single day. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, today was a bit of a, uh, well, I was going to say it was a bit of a day off, but it kind of wasn't too much. Um, with the trailer that uh, we got in place, uh, I mentioned that there were a little bit of issues where we were having with the county with regards to um, we got the paperwork that supposedly proves that we are grandfathered in to be able to have these mobile homes on our property. Uh, the county uh, said that we need to somehow prove that this place has been um, that they have been rented continuously since 1984 which has been rather difficult to do uh, so uh, since we moved them uh, in place right now we got a call <coughs> from the county uh, reminding us that we still need to get permits so just uh, crap we have to deal with I'm hopefully gonna uh, talk with my legal friend lawyer friend today uh, and uh, sorry tomorrow uh, long day uh, but anyway, uh, it's just kind of, uh, we thought, yeah, yay, they're in place, uh, we can move forward. Uh, ended up having some um, issues, uh, more roadblocks, I guess, uh, which, as I said, I mean, you mentioned my opinion on that. Uh, we are trying to provide a home for somebody who is uh, low income and would be unemployed, uh, sorry, not unemployed, homeless without it <coughs> but uh, we need permission to put uh, things on our own property from some people who have nothing to do with any of it other than feeling like they're important so but uh, yeah just something to deal with as we go forward <coughs> I did kind of take uh, this more of a personal day or at least in the sense that i uh, working on my own um, my own projects, in this case, uh, continuing work on the airplane. I mentioned that I was going to be using a CNC machine f to cut out uh, the panel where all the electronics are going to go. <coughs> and a bit earlier, sorry, I'm still having a bit of a cough issue. A bit earlier, I discussed how having some technical skills like software developing and 3D modeling is a really useful skill to have, uh, especially going forward in the future. And uh, this is kind of uh, an example of that. So it was about two hours of learning how to use the software, about an hour of actually uh, just importing the already existing models or setting them up in place, and then about 30 minutes, maybe an hour, uh, was the setup uh, to get the CNC machine to go through and actually cut everything out. And it, it worked beautifully. The CNC machine went through, cut out all the lines exactly where they need to be, all the holes are exactly where they need to be. They're lined up with all the um, uh, places where things are supposed to fit into uh, lined up with all the screw holes uh, everything fits just perfectly and now I can actually take this um, it's not the real panel this is uh, just masonite which is really hard cardboard but I can take that panel with me uh, when I travel down to Florida next week to see uh, the positioning of these uh, displays and if they're a little bit off like let's say I put them too close together to the center and it means that if I'm sitting in a plane like uh, everything should be centered so if uh, they're close together to the center of the plane the panel might be off to the right a little bit too much but I'll be able to see that just by looking where the hole is and adjust it in software like in software I would just have to click and drag it uh, or uh, set the setting <coughs> from the center increase it by a couple of inches and export the file again and the CNC machine will uh, cut out a new one. Uh, another test, once it's fine, then I'll actually use the real one because I only have one copy of uh, copy. Uh, one uh, of the actual panel material. Uh, but <coughs> this is something that I can, what they call rapidly prototype. Um, like I said, it took me all of I guess maybe three or four total hours of actually going from uh, nothing to having a fan uh, finished panel. Uh, and I can save a lot of money doing that too because 
normally to do this kind of a panel you have uh, paper templates that you kind of line up on the panel and uh, tape into place and then start drilling where the templates are or somehow transfer the, um, the drawings onto the panel and most of the work is actually done by hand so you would be drilling by hand hoping you're getting the precise location it'll be cutting with a hacksaw by hand hoping you're not the lines are going to be straight and where they need to be and the whole process takes a very long time and if you were to use a professional it would take you uh, it would be a bit of a lead time definitely more than four hours it's probably a couple of weeks if not a couple of months and it would cost a couple of thousand dollars and here it's uh, yeah it took four hours of my own time and uh, it works so here's the actual uh, let me take this out of here real quick um, the actual panel in close-up uh, as you see everything is fitting fine I have my main um, display that tells me uh, my altitude airspeed uh, my attitude this is like which way I'm leaning <coughs> got my radios my navigational uh, radio that'll let me sorry uh, navigate without being able to see this is the IFR thing that I'm learning for that's where I can fly through clouds or without being able to see anything out the windshield and then I have my engine display which is not hooked up to any engine right now obviously because it's still down in the uh, Florida and my map display <coughs> and got my radio tuning and autopilot as well so but yeah it's uh, as you see it all fits yeah there's a big mess of wires on my table but yeah it's uh very uh simple and quick and easy and uh, i'll actually add a video of the cnc machine itself after this uh, so you can see what it's doing how it looks and how it's working uh, just a fair warning it's a little bit low so here's the uh, cnc machine video and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow bye